Also jetzt in Medias Res, Herr Professor Meyers, zum Thema The New Mechanics, Fascia as a Regulatory System. Please, your presentation. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. So now I feel like a, a trained dog. <laughs> I apologize in advance that I cannot speak the language of Goethe and Gunther Grass and Schopenhauer, yeah? Um, but I cannot, so I must speak to you in English. So I hope you will understand. But uh, I respond to my name like a trained dog. <laughs> he mentions Tom Myers when I come up. Uh, but now they put a collar on me, so now I know I am a trained dog. Uh, good morning, and uh, I'm happy to speak to you for the next hour or so. Uh, I want to emphasize uh, in starting off, I, I very much uh, thank Gregor for the invitation and you for showing up and spending some time here uh, with me. And. Since I'm the person who is kicking off the conference, I think it falls to me to sort of set the stage in a large way um, for the many things that you are going to consider. And I guarantee you that you are going to have a genuine scientist who has actual credentials, who follows me, and will uh, speak to you out of research. But I want to emphasize from the very beginning that I am neither a researcher nor a doctor. Uh, I have no letters after my name. I am only speaking as an interested observer of the human condition. Specifically, the human biomechanical condition. As we begin to look at this in the beginning of the 21st century, we are going to have fewer and fewer of these. Yes, the world population is going down, well, no, it's still going up, but the rate of increase of population is going down, which means that in 30 years, 40 years, when you are old and have gray hair like mine, there will be only a few people to take care of you. <laughs> which means that we must be very careful and educate our children very well in the use of their bodies because they are going to have to support three of us or four of us each. <laughs> if I look at my own daughter, I am a little dubious about this uh, proposition, but um, we will see. So I want to present this not as a scientist. I know we are concerned with the problems of pain. I know we all exist within a health system which has both its benefits and its problems, no matter what country you are living in, no matter what you practice. Nevertheless, we are all humans, and we are all presented with this condition of understanding, and I think this is the century in which we will have a much better understanding of how the human being works as a biomechanical event. We have really tried to understand the human as a biomechanical event using the prospects, using the precepts of Isaac Newton and Aristotle and people who are understanding the body from a particular type of mechanics. You are in the same language group as Albert Einstein, yes? Einstein was a hundred years ago, and we are still thinking in our biomechanics like Isaac Newton. Force, MV, vectors, fulcrums. I would say to you, there is no fulcrum in the body. I cannot prove this, but I will say it, because it's the beginning of the conference, and I can say anything I want. <laughs> By the end of the conference, you will have genuine scientists, and I will have to put all kinds of qualifying adjectives in front of what I say. But because Gregor gave me the privilege of being up front in the conference, I can say what I like. <laughs> so, how do we get from that baby to this? Which is the common lot of the people who are coming to see you. 
We don't have to have a motor vehicle accident to have really severe spinal damage. We do it just with, and I borrow this from Gregor for the rest of my life, because sitting is the new smoking. <laughs> this is a wonderful line. <laughs> He's already used it. So, if we are going to reconsider our biomechanics, and I'm going to ask you to reconsider our biomechanics for the next hour or so, the thing that we have to do when we look at the complexities of anatomy is understand that all these parts that we identify, necessary, it's an analytical process to identify parts. The Achilles tendon, the plantar fascia, the ischiocrurale, the sacrotuberous ligament, the erector spinae, etc., etc. We must remember, if we are going to go back to first principles, that we are not built from parts. We are grown from a seed. <laughs>